two, one, action. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, we have a special guest with us. His name is Kevin Chagall, and he's going to be talking about an important topic, inappropriate media. Thank you. Thunder's applause. Tell me, it's a wonderful message. Go, Kevin. It was a tranquil day for the parents and family. Your child comes home talking about the joy of school, the, your, their friends, the soccer practice, and more. Each day they share their day's excitement. Their, the excitement of the day's adventures. But one day the sharing stops. And you, as a parent, wonder why? <laughs> and you pass off as an isolated incident. But this happens day after day. So then you go to the school counselor and ask, is there anything that's going on out of the normal in these past few days? The counselor pauses and says, uh, nothing really. Uh, we started the Sochi education program though. As you go deeper into the investigation, of what Soji really is, you are horrified. You find out that Soji stands for sexual orientation and gender identity. And it has been marketed to the schools and parents as anti-bully, but it is far more than that. Our government has allowed our curriculum to be invaded by a philosophy an agenda that is not supportive of children. And so what is that agenda? To, to introduce the gay and transgender lifestyle into the classroom. And it goes beyond helping gay, lesbian, transgenders feel comfortable in school. One of my grade five colleagues was actually showing flashcards of gay men doing their thing. Are you crazy? Education is being brought into the classroom that promotes something called gender fluidity. Yes, there are boys. Yes, there are boys. And yes, there are girls. But the claim is that there are a variety of genders in between. Furthermore, furthermore, if you're a boy, if you're a boy and you want to be a girl, you can. It's actually encouraged. Our mature educators are told that they're giving kids a choice. No, you are not. Kids. Kids are in. Kids are in school to be taught. We are at an influential age, and you teachers are influential. Did you know that where transgender education is installed, the case, the cases of transgender goes up? So of course we're being influenced. It becomes? It becomes trendy to be trans. It becomes some social contagion. And, and it becomes a social contagion. It becomes, it becomes trendy to be trans. But it goes far beyond trendy. Because life-altering choices are being made. Kids are encouraged. Kids are encouraged to go on puberty blockers. They take, they take, they take drugs. To stop. They take drugs to stop their God-given anatomy from growing. Then the mature. Then the mature adults make surgeries available to cut off perfectly healthy body parts and add parts. Man, this is insane. Don't they know? Don't they know that 80 to 90% gender dysphoric kids, kids that doesn't go on pre-puberty trans, trans conversation, trans -conversion Conversation. Conversation. No, conversion. Oh, no. No. Conversion. conversion. Therapies. 
therapies end up being their own birth gender? No, end up being restored to the identifying their birth gender. With their birth gender. With, with their birth gender? Mm -hmm. Yep. One problem. One problem we have is that trans kids grown to be adults are actually changing their minds. So they're actually de-transitioning. No kidding. Don't they? Don't they? No. What? Don't they know? Don't they know? That there. That there. Are. That there are. Hundreds. Hundreds of physical differences between a boy and a girl. That confirms two sexes only. Why? So why are they doing this then? Because they can't. So they because they can't reproduce. No, so because they because want they want to be just. <laughs> what? They want people to be just like them. Because they want people to be just like them. They can't reproduce, so they have to recruit. Did you know? And did you know that this whole BC school thing was started by three gay men from the ARC, also known as ARC Foundation? So what can we do to stop the Soji brainwashing, yep, that's right, brainwashing program? First of all, do not hate them for who they are and what they're trying to do. And do not make fun of them or mock them. And don't be a bully. And don't, of course, let them bully you. Second of all, if you're a parent, tell the, tell the principal that your child would not be exposed to any of this program and that the family will be notified of anything Soji is being presented. And third of all, if you are a if you are a student and you're not comfortable with what is presented in the classroom or assembly, then you will kindly announce that you will wait outside. We have to understand this fully and stand against it. Educators, educators, I please you, teach us what we need to learn to have a successful life. Stop polluting our minds with lies and propagandas. My name is Kevin, and I hope you can join me in this campaign of having appropriate and useful education. Thank you. Uh, 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 uh.